I'm with Cheryl Cousins, who, more than anyone on the Isle of Man, has changed the face of the art, I think, here in the last 15 years, having single-handedly started the Courtyard Gallery and is entirely responsible for this extraordinary weekend. First of all, Cheryl, why did this weekend come about from your point of view? Um, I, I love art. I feel that most people are not open to art, they feel it's something they go into galleries, museums, theatres for, and they feel alienated by it. And the idea is that art should be accessible to all people. It's a, it's a, a very important part of everybody's inner being, it's that natural creativity, and our society doesn't tap into it. And so I thought if we created a weekend where we bring art to people, it's on the street. Um, people are not threatened by it, but actually it's allowing them to expand their imagination. How do you feel this weekend, all this music, all this street theatre, it's all because of what you've brought together? Presumably you're very satisfied. I'm very tired. <laughs> Sorry. I, 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 yes, I don't, I don't think like that, I'm afraid. Um, I go around, I think of new things I would have loved to have done, um, things where I ran out of time, things where we didn't have the money. Um, Yes, I mean, it's lovely, but it was only my thought. I mean, it couldn't have happened without all these people being involved and the weather. And, you know, the venue is perfect. It's, it's just an ideal setting. And yes, I mean, it is it, wonderful. It's very exciting. But at the same time, it's got to keep growing. It's, you know, the new ways of developing it all the time. In reference to the Courtyard Gallery, I noticed over the last 10 years or so, you meet local artists and they're busy preparing an exhibition for the Courtyard Gallery. And I think, well, that's fantastic. Not only have they got something really to work for, they've got a space where they can show and indeed sell their work. And I know for this weekend, you've given the opportunity to lots of Manx people to learn new skills, juggling street theatre, singing, uh, costume making, the whole range of things. Presumably, that's been a very valuable aspect of it. I hope so. Again, only if it grows. It, with all these things, if, if anything, I act as a catalyst. I've got the ideas and I've, I've had the vision. And it's not been of any worth unless somebody else sticks down and runs with it. Because I have so many visions, I can't keep all the balls in, one air, in the air. So it's a matter of, of hoping now that the street theatre group actually gel as a group and will work out their own organisation and their structure. Mm. Otherwise they'll go away and they'll have had a wonderful weekend and that will have been very valid. And what we've shared with the public will have been very valid, but it will have become history. And it's very important for people to have seen that this can happen and realise that you don't need beer tents, you don't need chip vans, you don't need bouncy castles for people to have a lovely weekend. And if they can take that away and allow it to grow into another festival, I, I don't feel possessive and competitive. The whole concept has always been that we're doing this to try and stimulate art and culture on the island. I feel very strongly that so many people think art, well, anything that's good comes from England. And I am just gobsmacked by the quality of performance on the Isle of Man in all aspects of art. And whereas the Courtyard Gallery has always concentrated on, at the moment, two-dimensional, well, painting and drawing, sculpture, um, I feel if we can look at street performance, costume, um, street performing arts, that's still part of an art awareness, which um, hopefully will tap into the general public. A lot of people were sorry they missed it last year. So what I thought was if we did it again immediately, First of all, we got the sponsorship, which helped. But if we did it again immediately, it would absolutely sort of um, consolidate the concept. So we could almost easily have a year off. I, the workload is excessive. Um, if it is going to stay on this scale and hopefully get bigger, uh, the whole management of it has to be different. Because again, you can, <laughs> you can sweat blood to prove a point that this can happen. Yeah but you can't do it on a regular basis. It's, it's worth pushing every single thing I can push to create the weekend. But um, to, to do it another time, you approach it tired because you know how much work it's going to be a second time round. But again, hopefully the momentum should help that roll along. But I have to say this year was even more work than last year.
Okay, well, with me is John Shakespeare, who in the last 10 years or more has emerged as one of the great impresarios on the Isle of Man. It's a great pleasure to see you here at the Visual Arts Festival today, John. Just, first of all, what's your own involvement been? Well, last year we decided to um, do quite a bit more street entertainment on, on the Isle of Man. For a long time, I mean, the TT has graduated a bit of street performance, and we wanted our own homegrown talent. So last year was our first year, and we brought a, a group of professional actors in uh, to help us. But from that, the stimulus has come from this. So what you see here now is all homegrown, which is brilliant. The amazing thing is the Isle of Man has been starved of this since the last couple of years. Why is it taking so long to catch on here? I don't know. I, if you look at the people involved, it's a bit of hard work and great commitment and a bit of uh, foresight by uh, you know, some of the government on the Isle of Man and the Arts Council to, to actually back these things. That's what we've been crying out for. It's a good arts budget for a long time. And look what happens. This is a tremendous success. What is so extraordinary is what has come out of the woodwork. That group we can hear on behind us now never heard them before never seen them before no, people either, are doing are this mm. yes absolutely and they're brilliant and that's been the great thing about all today and the other thing is I noticed last year that when we had the professionals they went out down the street and did the bit and some of us were a bit sort of shy a bit reticent and we sort of hung around in the back but this year we've all been out there doing it and working flat out and enjoying it and it's really good you have silenced our fairy powers you have turned your back on all our magic in your more intimate hours the human people don't you of course put the Shakespeare plays on annually you did the story of man and all that last year yeah. at Peel Castle you've got events on in Castle Russian you're beginning to get a real taste for this this is turning out to be your well, forte I'd love to go at my day job Charles and actually do this full time because you know when you put something like this on, and okay the weather is fantastic and it's it helps enormously but just to see the reaction on people's faces so many people said um, is this the Isle of Man? Are we in England? Because they're not used to this sort of event. And this is what should be happening all the time, really. So it's great.